Welcome back, Disney travelers. Today we embark on an exhilarating journey, exploring the multitude of transportation options available for Disney properties. We stayed at the Disney's All-Star Music Resort, and this morning we're headed to the fantasy realm known as the Magic Kingdom. There are a few paid options like Uber and the minivan. You can also bring your own vehicle or a rental car. But there's only one free transportation option at the All-Star Music Resort. Hey everybody, I'm Dino with Informobility here in Orlando. And behold, our trusty chariot for the day, the Disney bus. A vehicle fit for giant sardine. Really? Oh. So imagine this, you woke up and you stepped out of your room. And you realize now you're just a tiny person surrounded by huge giant instruments that have somehow switched places to play us for a change. Hmm. Now after you just enjoyed a fresh breakfast at the cafe, just head around the corner. They rent out some of the scooters right out front of the resort. They're first come first serve, so you can just grab and go. Then you board a futuristic bus all painted with your beloved characters. The 325 buses seem to get a fast pass as the fleet glides through the busy roads. So as we sat down out front, it was only a five to eight minute wait in between. Take a look as we slide into the vibrant world of color and imagination. The interior of this bus is like gliding into a scene from a Disney movie. It's all decked out with playful designs, bright cozy seats, and even Mickey-shaped windows. Talk about traveling in style. What's that? It doesn't have hidden Mickey windows? Well, why would you write that in there then? Oh. All around Disney there are hidden treasures. If you're observant enough, you might even spot some hidden Mickeys along the way. The beautifully maintained landscapes lined with vibrant floral arrangements and the other iconic Disney resorts make for a truly mesmerizing view. Capture those picture-perfect moments and don't forget to say hello to the palm trees waving at you on your journey. Actually, don't. You're packed on a public bus with strangers. The trip takes about 25 minutes from we were loaded on and strapped in, which only took a few moments. And for those of you with no experience, the cast members will maneuver the scooter into place for you and strap it in, while you sit in the seat nearby. If you choose to sit on the scooter itself, then there has to be a seat belt put around you to hold you in place, as the bus is doing very bussy things like turning fast and stopping without notice. It seems that one of the issues that we found is that you can only put two of the scooters on a bus at one time. So if you are with a group of more than two scooters, make plans on where to meet up at the park. They should only be eight to 10 minutes behind. As we approach our destination, the air is buzzing with anticipation. The bus's background Disney tunes have built up the excitement for a grand finale, the one and only Magic Kingdom. The castle peeks up so soft over the trees that only those standing can see it. The energy is infectious and we can hardly contain our enthusiastic smiles and joyful laughter. Then we waited for everyone to get off the bus. First on, last off. Get ready to ride into a world where dreams come true. Well, into a line that goes into a world where dreams come true. It goes to show that technology can make a huge difference in people's lives, allowing anyone to achieve greatness despite any limitations they may have. Be sure to let us know if there are any exciting places you would want us to visit next. You can check out our other videos and if you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. 
and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll never miss out any of our latest videos. Thanks for watching. Be sure to join us next time as we head out again to answer all of your rolling questions. I'm Dino here in Orlando, Florida for Inform Mobility, information for your mobility adventures.